What's going on, everybody? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yesterday was going really well. I got through the first six questions without using a lifeline. That's the best start that I've had in this version so far. But unfortunately, I got the 8,000 pound question wrong when I used the 50 50 and chose the incorrect answer for the third straight episode. That's three episodes in a row that the 50 50 has ended my game. And it's really frustrating. It's honestly really, really frustrating. Aside from Monday, it has been really bad for me this week. Tuesday, Wednesday, and yesterday, it just completely ended my game. And Monday's the only day where it actually worked in my favor. So. We'll see how today goes. I'm a little bit afraid to use that lifeline, but yeah, 1,000 pounds is what I won, and that was converted to $1,000, and that brought my overall total to $61,576,700. All right, let's try to end the first week of the British Game Boy Advance version of Millionaire for the series off strong. Here we go. Here's the last 100-pound question of the week. According to the saying, what color does the pot call the kettle? Black. Okay, that's 100 pounds. Here we go for 200. Which phrase means one who likes hanging at home watching TV? Couch potato. Okay, that's 200 pounds. Now we're going for 300. To which profession does the adjective uh, SVN relate? It's going to be acting, so I will say D. Okay, very good. Got 300 pounds. We are now going for 500, which is the gland or cavity at the root of a hair. Um, follicle. All right, this is going well so far. We got 500 pounds. All three lifelines are intact. Here we go for 1,000 pounds. Reigning from 67 to 76 AD, who is the second pope? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What's 50-50? I'm going to go with Linus, because that's the one I was thinking from the beginning. There we go. I didn't think it'd be St. Snoopy. There we go. That's 1,000 pounds. The 50-50 actually came through for me today. That's amazing. It helped me on the beginning of the week and the end of the week, and then in the middle of the week, it just completely screwed me over. Okay, that's 1,000 pounds. That's guaranteed. We are 10 away from 1 million pounds. We still have the phone in front. We still have the audience. I don't worry about the 50-50 ruining my game today. Here we go now for 2,000 pounds. Who scored the so-called Hand of God goal in the 1986 World Cup? I do not know this. But, like, the one thing about, you know, the first few weeks of playing a new version full-time is that this way, even though, even though I have to use a lifeline on some of these questions... Later on, if I get the question again, I will hopefully be able to remember the right answer. So I'm going to have to use a lifeline on this question. I'm going to phone a friend. But hopefully, if I if the phone a friend can give me the right answer, I will remember the right answer is. And when I see this question again, I won't have to use a lifeline. That's the beauty of, uh, of progress. Let's see. Diego Maradona? Maradona? Okay, I will say A. Final answer. I'm counting on you, phone a friend. There we go. 2,000 pounds, okay. So, we're not in a really good position to go far. We're only six questions in, I only have one lifeline left. At this point yesterday, I still have all three lifelines. Um, but anyways, here we go for 4,000 pounds. Here it is. With which part of England is the song played on race is primarily associated? Um, well, one of these four that I know the most about is London, but that doesn't mean it's right. Um, I'm going to ask the audience. I'm going to use my last lifeline. Yep. It's unfortunate that I have to do this, but I'm really not sure. Okay. So half the audience say that it's B. So... More than half the audience, actually. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna trust. It. I'm gonna say B. Final answer. All right. Thank you, audience. That is four thousand pounds. Now I have no more lifelines. So the chances of me getting one of the two eight thousand pound questions that I've already had this week is pretty slim. So I, I, to be quite honest, if I don't know this next question, I'm probably gonna walk. I know it's only four thousand, but 
I, you know, I haven't really had a great week. Um, for 8,000 pounds, which school did the fantasy heroine Lara Croft attend until she was 16? Lara Croft, is that? No. Um. Hmm. Wimbledon High. Um. It's only a 3,000 pound risk, but you know what? I'm, I'm taking the money. I was trying to walk away the way that you walk away in the 2020 PC version. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take take the money. Uh, I know it seemed, might seem kind of pathetic, but honestly, I uh, it hasn't been a great week, and I just want to have like a somewhat like not crappy finish. Um, and you know, that's all right. It's not the best, but I mean, it's better than a thousand. So I mean, I'll definitely take it. So 4,000 pounds is converted to $4,000, and that brings my overall total to $61,580,700. Guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for this week. The first week of the British Game Boy Advance version is finished. So thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you back here on Monday for the next week. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.